Hey guys, this video is on what I believe was used to make the Cylon sound effect of the Warble Eye Scanner slash Knight Rider sound effect of the scanner used in both shows, played back at different speeds. And my contact at Universal Studios told me a couple pieces of gear that they had back in 1978. And when I got my hands on this one, I knew right away it was definitely used to make the scanner sound. This is the Yuri 565 filter. It's a notch and bandpass filter that lets you clean up audio signals and get rid of unwanted noises or only let pass through what you want to let pass through. Very unique piece of gear. It has these very powerful notch filters that are very tight. Take a look at this. You can either cut by this amount or you can leave in this amount. And when I put this on this setting and ran some signals through it, I immediately thought, wow, this resonant thing here is sounds like the Cylon scanner. So let's take a listen to a demo I made. We have, of course, the standard Cylon sound. And that's what happened when he died there in that one episode. And it's a very thin resonant sound. And it's a very small notch of something. We don't know what, nobody seems to know or remember. Whatever it was has been cut out. I thought maybe a heartbeat or an oil drilling rig or something like that. Uh, so I got this piece of audio here. We're gonna engage the software version since I didn't need my hardware version. Very eerie, ghost-like wind sound. It's very hard to put your finger on because you're only hearing about 3% of the signal. But if I start bringing back in frequencies and unraveling it, put the highs back, the lows back, disengage that one. You can see all along that was just a snippet of the soundtrack. But we're cutting out a huge portion of it highs, lows, and there's just one resonant thing allowed to pass through. And we don't know what sound it was, but I'm very, very sure that the sound was made using this filter. Fun piece of gear. You can do that effect with other things and software. Doesn't quite sound the same, but this Eventide one is uh, fairly nice. So I just feel like that's a little mystery that has possibly have been solved. If anybody knows what sound effect was ran through to make that, I'd be very curious to know. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next video because there will be two more about this Cylon voice. Big ones.